In problem number 28 of section 1.3, we're asked to solve the differential equation written on the board with the given initial condition y of 0 is equal to 7. So first step is just to uh, write the partial fraction decomposition. You see that dy dx is equal to, uh, well here we'll have uh, a over the x plus 5 term and plus b over x plus 5 squared. And the reason for that is uh, because we need to, um, because we have x plus, or because negative 5 is a repeated root, uh, we need to you know, look at all it, you know, constant term over each increasing power of, of the term x plus 5, um, up to the multiplicity of the root, which is 2 in this case. And plus, c over x minus 2. Uh, so now we need to uh, figure out what the um, values of a, b, and c are. So if we multiply both sides by the entire denominator of the original equation, well, on the left-hand side, uh, we'll get 7x squared plus 44x plus 80. And on the right hand side, uh, I'll have a times, uh, well the x plus 5 will cancel out, but uh, still have one x plus 5 term, times x minus 2. And uh, add b, both x plus 5 terms will cancel out, but we'll be left with x minus 2 and c times uh, x plus 5 squared. Right. And now to actually find um, values of a, b, and c, the easiest way to proceed is just to substitute in um, 2 and negative, x equals 2 and x equals negative 5. Um, that way, you know, in both cases, two of the terms will cancel out and we'll be able to solve for one of the variables. So if x is equal to 2, well then on the left hand side uh, we have 7 times 4 is 28 uh, plus 44 times 2 or plus 88 plus 80 is equal to, well the first two terms cancel out and we're left with c times uh, I have 2 plus 5 squared, which is 49. Now I'll have 28 plus 88 plus 80, which uh, would be 196. Uh, is equal to 49 times C. This means that C is equal to 4. Now if we substitute uh, x equals minus 5, uh, this time the first and the third terms cancel and we'll just be left with b times x minus 2 on the right. And on the left, we'll have 7 times 25 plus uh, 44 times negative 5 plus 80. And this will equal b times negative 7. So this becomes 175 minus 220 plus 80 is equal to minus 7b. And on the left hand side, this will be, we'll have minus 140 plus 75 will be 35 is equal to minus 7b. So b is equal to minus 5. So finally to solve for a, there's no 
real easy value uh, to substitute in since the only way that we can get a term to one or more terms to disappear is if we substitute in two and five and um, in neither case in both cases the term involving a will go to zero so the next easiest choice is just x equals zero so if we substitute x equals zero on the left hand side we have 80 and on the right hand side we have a times 5 times negative 2, so negative 10a. And plus b times negative 2, which b is negative 5, so this is plus 10. And, and in the third term we'll have c times uh, 5 squared, b 25 times c, which is 4. So this means that negative uh, 10 a is equal to 80 minus 10 minus 100. Uh, so minus 10 a will be equal to 70 uh, minus 100 or minus 30 and a is equal to 3. So after all of that computation for the coefficients for the constants um, we can just go ahead and integrate or Almost, because remember this is a separable differ differential equation, which means that we need to put everything with a y on one side, everything with a x on the other side. So on the left-hand side, we'll have uh, dy. And on the right-hand side, have 3 over x plus 5 minus 5 over x plus 5 squared uh, plus 4 over x minus 2 and dx. And next we'll just integrate on both sides. And of course on the right hand side this is just equal to y, or excuse me, on the left hand side um, the integral of dy is equal to y. And on the right hand side we have 3 times the natural log of absolute value of x plus 5 uh, minus 5 times, I'm going to leave this blank for a minute and come back to it, and just write in the um, next term, which is 4 times the natural log of x minus 2. And plus a constant, I don't want to use c, so let's use k since C was already taken um, as the value in the partial fraction decomposition. Now for the second term, uh, if we make the substitution u equals x plus 5, then du um, is equal to dx. And we see that um, the integral of 1 over x plus 5 squared dx is just equal to the integral of u to the minus squared du. And this is just minus 1 over u uh, plus a constant, but we can just kind of absorb that constant into the constant that we already have. So this is just equal to minus 5 over u, but u is equal to x plus 5. So this is the general solution to uh, the differential equation uh, that we were originally given, but we were actually given an initial condition. Uh, we were given that y of 0 is equal to 7. Uh, so to solve for the initial condition, 
uh, or to solve for the value of the constant that satisfies the initial condition, we need to um, substitute in x equals 0. So we'll have um, y of 0 is equal to 7, uh, which is equal to 3 times the natural log of absolute value of 5, which is okay, just natural log of 5, minus, uh, if we plug in x equals 0, we get minus 5 over 5, or minus 1, plus uh, 4 times natural log of uh, absolute value of minus 2 or natural log of 2 plus k. And now we can use this to solve for k. And we see that k is equal to um, 7 plus 1, so 8 plus 3 natural log of 5. Um, excuse me, this will be minus since we're moving it to the left hand side. Uh, so minus 3 natural log of 5 minus 4 times the natural log of 2. Uh, 